Brothers TV with Reggie Kearney and Tara Ann Tapman, bringing you news and politics. Real World News TV every Tuesday night at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 7.30 p.m. Central, and 8.30 on the East Coast. Real World News TV, the most interactive, longest-running radio and television show under the Hot Topics Talk Radio Network. Real World News TV, where your comments and your views are welcome. Real World News TV, news for us, by us, that affects us all. Real World News TV. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to a new edition of Real World News TV. And we are live tonight, all the way we, live. We's live. Yeah, we live. Okay. <laughs> you know, first I want to thank my daughter Taylor for writing the music, the background music for our theme song, and I want to thank the uh, great, my great boss lady Tony Breelove for laying the words on top of the song. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. So, okay, we're into week two of our uh, shows for this year, and we still are faced with uh, Trump Gate uh, shutdowns and spy allegations. Okay, mm-hmm. and as you know, we know today we're still the federal government is still on furlough. Uh, Eight hundred thousand people, uh, federal employees aren't working, and that doesn't. Uh, Reflect the number doesn't reflect the re, uh, residual uh, losses that are taking place among people who are contractors, uh, restaurants, things of that nature. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised the number of everyone, the number of people that are affected by this shutdown, probably is closer to two million. You know, I'm just guessing. You know, but there's a lot of people just affected by this and everything. You know, uh, all because he wants to secure five billion dollars of taxpayer money to build a wall you know but it was funny that i saw on facebook where somebody said uh mexico was willing to uh pay for no mexico was going to ask um trump to pay for the ladders that they're going to put on the other side so people can climb over (laughs) yeah but i saw where someone had uh posted that mexico it was actually in a write-up i think it was in the Mm -hmm. new yorker that Mm -hmm. uh Mexico said that they were going to pay for his uh, his uh, therapy sessions, his psychological. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, the thing is, he doesn't. I think he doesn't understand the gravity of what's going on. You know, because here in the D.C. area, we do have a lot of people out of work. You know, being the center of the federal government, you know, and. Uh, the radio stations have been interviewing uh, different people about, uh, you know, the furlough. And this one lady, they really hurt my heart, you know, and she's, you know, money's getting becoming very short because a lot of people do live paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. But her main concern was her daughter's uh, birthday that was coming up and her ability to just buy a cake. She didn't want nothing else. She just wants to be able to buy a cake for her daughter's birthday. You know, you saw a lady, uh, I think most people seen on the national news, a lady who is cutting back her insulin to half a dosage each day to try to, to um, make it, you know, you know, stretch that. And then there was another couple from Florida where the husband's job provides for life-saving medicine for. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's That's crazy. where we are. It is crazy, yeah. you know. And yeah. why are we at a point now that you have to make a life decision? Yeah. You know, when you have put your time into an employer, especially the federal government, because at right. one point, I think all of us had, had thought and realized that working for a federal agency or federal government is a means of support and a means of, of longevity in your career, a means of being able to take care of your families in the long run. But right. here we are, that people cannot even buy food. Mm-hmm. And like for you to mention a cake that we're not talking about a grocery list. We're talking about a cake, mm-hmm. you know, and I want to kind of go back to what you were saying that uh, he doesn't realize the gravity 
of this situation. I believe he does understand the gravity of this situation. It's a matter of him not giving a shit. He doesn't care. Okay. It's all about his ego, which is based on this wall. That is right. what we're dealing with here. But mm -hmm. well, I, 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 I kind of disagree with you. I'm going to tell you why. Because this is a person who's had lived a privileged life, okay? And he's had it. He's got money. He doesn't care, okay? He's like a kid at a candy store. His main concern is trying to get $5 billion. Yeah. You know, his, his thought process is that, you know, people will survive, okay? Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to, we're going to, you all going to survive. Y'all going to be all right. You know, we're going to get yeah. you back pay when you come back to work, you know, and that's his thing, you know, but he doesn't understand not having to live day to day, not have to pay for nothing because right. basically he's probably stolen a lot because of his father and what his father did. You know, he doesn't understand there are people out here hurting, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, they are uh, actually hurting because, like I said, again, they go paycheck to paycheck, you know. So, uh, yeah. A shame. But, see, but the thing is, is that it's not only hurting the American people when we talk about uh, their just their right to be able to take care of their family. I mean, the American dream necessarily does not mean that we all want to, you know, get rich or we live to get rich or anything like that. A lot of people today and as far back as in history, the American dream is to be able to uh, consistently be able to provide for your family, provide for yourself, put food on the table and keep a roof over your head. Right. That's just the liberty that I think that most people live by, period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come becoming rich and 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 either famous or uh well off, that's kind of secondary to a lot of people because we get up every morning and we uh commit to going to our jobs right. to to do a good job and to make a right. good living. So it it, it just astounds me. And I, I don't want to even say that I'm surprised anymore. Mm -hmm. It astounds me that we have come up on now three and a half weeks where people are actually going to work and knowing that they're not going to get a paycheck. Mm -hmm. That astounds me that there is a level of commitment to some people, to other people, that they still go to these jobs. You've mm -hmm. got TSA in our airports. For, the, some, for some people, they've called off sick. Mm -hmm. They've not shown up, but then you still have those who do show up and that are committed to the, the, the uh, safety of the American people. That's what they're committed to. Mm -hmm. And they still go to these jobs every day and, and not knowing when they're going to get a paycheck. Mm -hmm. well, you, you look at the coast guard and won't get that next paycheck. A, so, right. That funds, are, that funds are running out, you know, right. but, he he they he doesn't care and i gotta get on the uh republicans and uh um uh, <laughs> jackie jackie, jackie we allen love, we love you jackie <laughs> i, I, I want to take uh some time to welcome jacqueline price we got two jackies in the house oh, Jacqueline price that's girl it's so good to see you and so good to be back mm -hmm. to be able to see you uh right. seeing us so uh -huh. thank you, Miss Jacqueline Price. Miss Jackie Allen, I know Jackie Allen. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. we have worked together on some shows in the past. Right. She's doing her own thing. She's a phenomenal mm -hmm. woman. And I just want to mm -hmm. acknowledge that. Miss uh -huh. Yvonne Baker, Hot Topic Talk Radio, she's sitting in. She is yeah. saying also, uh, if I can put her comment up, Yvonne is saying he is doing this so he won't be impeached as long as the mm -hmm. government shut down, he can secure his seat. Oh, I don't know. What do you he think, Rachel? He can still be impeached. And I want, want to say hello to my homegirl, Tilda Willeker, the coach's coach. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us, Tilda. Yeah, if you ever need coaching, look up Tilda. All right, But She's good at what she does. I might have to get her and hire her as a life coach for me. But I need some life coaching. You need some life coaching. Well, I do. She's the person for you. Well, well, can she help me stop cussing? Yeah, yes, she can. <laughs> yes, she can do. <laughs> but, you know, things haven't changed um, 
you know, as far as the law is concerned, I mean, he can still be impeached. The whole thing is, if the Congress decides to issue articles of impeachment, will the Senate carry out? You know, and then Mitch McConnell over there, and that, it will never happen. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. So, from what I'm understanding, is that they mm-hmm. have brought up articles of impeach of impeachment. There are two mm-hmm. articles that they've already um, presented. Yeah. Uh, so, now, whether it's going to move forward, I have to agree with you. Yeah. I, I don't think so. And that and that's the whole thing. But you know, we I don't know. Sometimes I think that uh if the people in the country would just come together and do a one day strike that things might change and but i'm gonna tell you what could change things if tsa didn't show it one day and the airline the uh uh the controllers uh airline controllers did not show up okay for their jobs and they the airspace and planes couldn't fly okay the air controllers didn't show up that could uh wreak havoc on the economy and there would be a real push then to get people back to work. And I think what's going to happen when Wall Street starts falling and really starts encouraging some major losses and these guys' money is getting funny, and, you know, things are going to change. You know, but, I think he, but you know what, though, yeah. Rich? But see, okay, so let's look at the fact that, you know, TSA is an a, part of the agencies, one of the agencies that is crucially needed because in uh-huh. post 9-11, I think we've all learned that there is a need to um, to screen people that right. are coming to our, our airports, you know, and mm-hmm. into our airspace and, and just coming through our airports. There's mm-hmm. a great need of doing that because of what mm-hmm. we have learned through 9-11 and other incidents that have happened after. Right. right. So right. I would hate to see that TSA of all of the government agencies mm-hmm. is one that kind of falls off and, and falters because mm-hmm. now you're talking about we and we're, we're talking about a level of national security where mm-hmm. it is going to be out of control so mm-hmm. do we want tsa to be one of those uh, federal agencies that would shut down well look the, the people have got to be paid okay now you you know if you're I love law employees, okay? Loyalty is very important. But look, check this out. You're going into work every day, and you got to stand there and usher people through the, the screening process. But at the same time, you worried about the electric bill going to get paid, or did you, you're going to be able to provide medicine your family needs, things of that nature. Sooner or later, you're going to walk, okay? Mm-hmm. Because you, your thing is going to be, look, we we already four weeks into this furlough, okay? We're guaranteed and go not to everybody's Friday. guaranteed their money right. back. And you, you're guaranteed to go into week five starting Friday. Right. Okay. So this process is going on and on. I like like Trump said, he don't care if it goes on until he gets out of office. He can say he can go on for two years. Right. Because what know? pisses me off when we talk about this and his response to all of this is for him to actually make inference of people, uh, how they're going to take care of themselves. Yeah. And he then throws out the suggestion, oh, well, they can have garage sales. When the hell have you heard a that a garage sale is going to pay a $3,000 mortgage yeah. and a $200, $400 mm-hmm. phone, uh, phone bill and yeah. food bills? And the, mm-hmm. when have you heard that that's mm-hmm. going to happen? Yeah. People are going to start losing their homes and being thrown out of their homes. And Thank then you. what? Thank and you. then yeah. what? And, and, and like Yvonne asked, asked a question, uh, why can't the Dems do something to get the government back up? Well, the Dems have been passing bills that open the, opens the government up piece by piece. And what they want to do is open the government up piece by piece. And then when you get to Homeland Security, uh, don't approve their appropriations until, um, uh, you know, to until more um, meetings are held. To come to come up upon an agreed amount of money to give uh, Homeland Security. Right. Well, Mitch McConnell said no to that. He shut it down because he said that he's not going to send a bill to the White House where the president won't sign that bill. Okay. Right. So right. you have you have the impasse, and something else is happening too. You got the hardline Democrats are telling their leadership to stick to their guns, and then you got the hardline Republicans are telling their leadership to stick to their guns. So you had an impasse right now. But the people, the impasse is on the shoulders of those Americans who aren't working. Okay, right. who aren't getting the money in right now. 
So uh, th that that's that's kind of crazy, okay? You know, it's kind of crazy, you know. You know, and Jacqueline says that um, she says when we were talking about the, uh, the TSA shutting down, she says that that may need to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and it's sad because yeah. you are putting people's lives in jeopardy. You're right. opening up this country for more attacks. Because mm -hmm. right now, you think that when Obama was in office, people hated the country. Well, people hate mm -hmm. this country anyway. Yeah. Okay. And that's because we have such freedoms mm -hmm. where others don't. Mm -hmm. um, and it is the land of the free and the home mm -hmm. of the brave. That's how other people have been have been fed what the U.S. Mm -hmm. is. So you think people hated us for all those years before Trump. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like, it's crazy right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you can imagine people coming into our airports and causing bodily harm and mm -hmm. and, and a destruction of thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of people. Yeah, but if the air traffic controllers go out, that shuts down the economy to a certain extent. Because what happens when FedEx and UPS can't move their packages across the country? That's okay. true. I didn't you think of that. But knowing him, he'll probably say, well, they can use the Air Force planes to get the stuff done. You know, sooner or later, you you got to start pushing back on it. And, and this is the thing. He's backed himself. And some of the reports I read that he's backed himself in such a corner, he can't come out of that corner, okay, without getting that $5 billion because of Rush Limbaugh and Ann Cole and some of the other um, uh, knuckleheads that, uh, right. that he listens to, okay? You know, <sighs> I mean, this I, I, I mean, one time, you know, I said last week, maybe it's going to come to an end in four weeks, okay? Now, I just don't know. I, I, you know, I just don't know. And, you know, something else, I, I you know, you know, I'm, I can be a con, uh, conspiracy theorist at times. <laughs> but when you look at the D.C. area, okay, and you look at some of the wealthier counties like uh, Prince George's County that uh, is home to... Um, the second largest um, uh, community of black professionals outside of LA in this country, that could be another underlying, uh, underlying reason also, because you know there are a lot of African Americans in this area who have become middle class, you know, have gotten into the middle class and upper middle class because of the federal government, and I'm pretty sure in the back of his little mind that some of that, you know, is. Uh, some of his issues that he has also yeah the creation of the black upper middle class you know it's probably getting to him too you know, I'm, so i'm just saying you know yeah but you know what well, we're at a a place now that we are treading dangerous ground oh yeah yeah i agree, I agree. we are treading some dangerous da dangerous ground because mm -hmm. already you know uh the u.s has the worst uh homelessness yeah. Uh, uh, percentages yeah. and uh, for people to lose their their homes after losing their livelihoods mm -hmm. um, that's just going to make it even more detrimental mm -hmm. and I can only imagine the lawsuits because yes you can sue the federal government yeah um, I can only imagine the lawsuits which mean that means now that we're talking about increased deficit Mm -hmm. that has been incurred because of the American people mm -hmm. and by the American people because mm -hmm. of this. Yeah. So it's just, you know, it's a, it's a domino effect. Mm -hmm. And if they don't get a handle on this now, mm -hmm. all it takes is one month for someone to lose the roof over their yeah. head. Well, the average human being or average American today does not have mm -hmm. a savings account. Yeah. Well, I think that most, for the most part, your mortgage companies and your landlords are probably going to work with, work with people for about three months, okay, at the most. Uh, there are some the banks. I know Bank of America has a plan where uh, they will work with you for three months. Uh, and I'm pretty sure some of the better places here in this area are probably going to work with their people for about three months. But I think after about three months, you're really going to start seeing a lot of uh, crap hitting the fan because people are going to start losing stuff, okay? 
Well, what do you tell the people who are like, say, for instance, the merchants who uh, have their businesses set up, which are mm -hmm. in the vicinity of, say, the White House uh, oh, in they, Washington, D.C.? They, they, they people come can't down. recover. Yeah, you, you can't. You can't. I mean, I was in um, D.C. on last Wednesday night, went to a basketball game. And generally around the uh, Capitol and the White House and places like that, the food trucks, Pretty much the guys leave the food trucks there down in the mall. Yeah. Not nah, food truck in sight. Okay. Uh, it's, you know, a lot of people have businesses in the um, office buildings, like little uh, restaurants, little stores. They've closed. They, it's no business for them. Okay. You know, that's how it is. Um, so, you know, people are losing. I mean, on the news at night, the local news. Uh, the state of Maryland would lose sixty million dollars in taxes every two weeks. Oh, Jesus! They have seven hundred and seventy-eight million dollars of salaries that come in every two weeks in the oh state of Maryland, God. based on federal uh, government. Just federal employment. government, and, yeah. Oh my God! You oh, know, God. you know, you gotta be, you gotta remember too. We're home to the NSA, okay? So you got NSA guys working because you know they got to keep working and they're not even getting paid. Yeah, okay, so. yeah. Because I think about uh, when when we think about federal funding and uh, government mm -hmm. funding programs. I work in an industry of of uh, uh, employment workforce, right. and the unfortunate part is is that a lot of the agencies that I work with that are helping people to uh, obtain employment. Mm -hmm. And that I see are coming through these agencies who depend on federal funds. You're that right, is how right. they keep their doors open. Mm -hmm. And what I have noticed is that uh, just within the last three or four weeks, I'm not hearing from these people as much as I normally would. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. I'm not getting the applicants because mm -hmm. those applicants are depending on the government, the agencies who are receiving mm -hmm. government funding to keep mm -hmm. their programs going. Mm -hmm. So that means that we're losing money as well, even mm -hmm. though I'm not working for a government agency. Right. It's just, it's this continued harsh domino effect. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, like Yvonne has said, he's not, he's, he's so set on the wall that he doesn't even think about what uh, shutting the government down is actually doing, mm -hmm. doing to this country. I, I'm just, I, I'm shocked. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just shocked. Mm -hmm. This is where we are. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> the question is, I mean, people were, there were, there was a large percentage of people that were, that, that were, hold, that were holding Democrats uh, uh, hostage and saying that the Democrats they were complicit in uh, this government shutdown, but now they're saying they blame Trump and the Republicans. Well, of course they yeah. should be blaming yeah. the Republicans and, and yeah. Trump, because mm -hmm. the 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 Democrats have pushed forward every kind of alternative plan mm -hmm. that you can imagine. Yeah, you know, but it's something about I don't know what it is about the word W A L L <laughs> that just makes him think that this is going to work. We uh -huh. had uh, someone reporting last week that someone used a just a buzzsaw, uh -huh. a hacksaw, and they cut through the the barrier that was supposed to have been, I think, one of the um, samples. Right. A sample uh -huh. So what's the point? What is the point when we've got technology that surely outweighs? Uh -huh. A W A L L. Yeah. Well, it's all about campaign promises, okay? He made the campaign promise that he would build a wall. And, and Mexico he determined, would pay for it. He's determined that a little less than 40% of the Americans are going to benefit from his promise, okay? That's all who supports him, okay? He's not thinking about what the other 60% of the people think about. He's thinking about what his little 40% thinks about. Okay, so tell me what the sense is. If you're asking for, five, is it 5.3 or 5.7 billion? Well, it's going up from 5 billion. That's about 5.7 billion. Okay, I mean, he, so he, you're he asking, up, you know. 
Yeah, but you're asking for $5.7 billion to build a wall, right? Mm -hmm. So why do you need this money if you said that Mexico is going to pay for it? Right. Well, Mexico ain't going to pay for it. Of course they're not, but he made a change in that too. He said, yeah. well, I said that they're going to pay for it, but that's mm -hmm. not what I meant. Yeah. I meant they're going to pay for it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. And then I like what uh, Yvonne said, the government is shut down while we still paying taxes. I agree with that one, Yvonne. That one right there. <laughs> that one right there. I like that. We shouldn't pay taxes. We shouldn't <laughs> pay taxes. Okay? But Jacqueline also says, Jacqueline Allen says, uh, but this is the kicker. I'm, I, I want to put up your comment, and I'm hoping that it won't cover the screen. There it goes. Uh, but this is the kicker about the wall. It will not stop people entering into this country. There are so many ways to enter into this co country from Mexico alone. It is a bully tactic. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Because they said that less than, I think it was less than six people last year or the year before. I can't remember what, if it was last year, uh, had gotten past the um the border security well, they, were, they were on a terrorist watch list yeah. those three people so he he keeps saying that all these people well you know his uh his his, his buddy she said that four thousand people came into the country last year that were terrorists so right. then chris water said he was ready for it because chris was had posed a question to him he said well by my research is only like six people were who were on the terrorist list can't actually try to get in the country last year and they were caught Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so he he embellishes the numbers, and his group of um, idiots they believe it. You know his his base they believe what he says. If he was saying there was a million people coming in a year that were terrorists, those people believe what he says. You know, this one lady was on the news last night, and uh, and this and she's a federal employee. Uh, she voted for Trump as an independent, and she says that the government should, you know, remain closed until he gets his money because of the fact uh, the wall needs to be built. But then this is somebody who's um, at home, and like she said, well, her husband makes enough money for them to get their bills paid. Okay, so she doesn't have, you know, she doesn't no have no clue. skin in the game. Yeah, she doesn't have no skin in the game. <sighs> you know, but I'm gonna tell you something. There were no people looked at the news last night in this area. When she goes back to work, she probably gonna retire, but they're gonna let her have it. Oh uh, yeah, kick her ass at the door. door. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna let her have a lot of bull She gonna wish she had cut her mouth closed. Oh know? my gosh! Uh, but I'm really hoping that uh, there can be some resolve. It has to happen within the next week or two. Yes, it has right. to, because you know we are, like I said, we're t we're treading on a on a on a ground that now people are in that month, that one month period mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where they haven't paid any bills. Now, everybody, mm -hmm. all these creditors are not going to be as forgiving as some. Yeah, so, right. Well, some, you know, because the electric companies probably aren't going to be as forgiving. Mm -hmm. That's well, what's, a gonna happen, what's going to happen? A lot of companies will be forgiving, but they're going to tack on the late charges. They're going to use this opportunity to make money off of people. Exactly. Okay? You know, so that that's what's going to happen, you know. Um, but uh, it, it's a shame. It, it, it's a shame because we're the only country in the world where the government gets shut down so the president can attempt to get something that they want. Right. Or the Congress or the Repub Republicans or Democrats can't agree on something, okay? Right. The right. only country right. where the government actually gets shut down, you know. And we're supposed to be leaders in this world, but we're looking real, real silly right now. With the government closed down and people not working, they you know other countries probably looking at us and just shaking their head. Right, right. The government is shaking their heads, you know. Well, like I said, I'm I'm really hoping that there is a resolve mm -hmm. because I I hate to see people suffering. And yeah. every day, you know, we turn on our TVs. Over the past three weeks, you have people who are displaying, I mean, a lot of fear mm -hmm. um, when it comes to being able to take care of their families and. Yeah. Um, it's it's a scary thing. It really mm -hmm. is. It's scary when you have a job and still making money and still having a problem paying your bills. Yeah. So imagine not having any money coming in. You know, mm -hmm. that's 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 scary. That is yeah. really, really scary. And mm -hmm. a lot of these people, um, 
you know, they will try and go out and get jobs, but knowing that on their applications or their resumes, it indicates that they had worked for a federal agency. These mm -hmm. other employers will not hire them because they know that they're not going to stay once the government mm -hmm. does come back yeah. up. So they're in this, you know, this, this conundrum of bullshit uh, mm -hmm. behind a WALL. I, I don't mm -hmm. get it. I don't get it. But um, let's move into the issues of <laughs> Which one? Uh, is Trump a spy for yep. Russia? <laughs> All right, end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. So, you know, Reggie, I don't know how you felt when the news had broke. Um, what was that last week on Friday? It was, I think it was Thursday or Friday that there was an intended investigation for um, counter uh, intelligence mm -hmm. and they were going to, they were going to start investigating or put forth an investigation uh, of Trump being uh, someone who was working for the Russian government. Um, I had said it all along. Mm -hmm. I had said it all along. He's a freaking spy. Yeah. But let's see, the problem starts at the um, convention where he tells the Russians, you know, if you can find Hillary's uh, 30 million emails, uh, please publish them. Mm -hmm. The next day, all the emails show up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then he uh, has a meeting at the White House, and no president has had diplomats. In the White House in eons, okay? Right. So he has to be the first to try to break everything. So he has them in the White House with none of his people in that meeting. None of his people in the meeting. He's riding solo, okay? They gave him a gift. Like somebody said, they gave him a gift, and the gift could have been a microphone to listen to what the conversations are in the uh, exactly. Oval Office, you know? Exactly. Because yeah. I thought that those things get screened. Yeah, they do. But now, to. Yeah, they're supposed to. Then he has to meet with Putin in Finland. I think it was in Finland uh, where he is a private meeting. And then he tells his interpreter to destroy the notes, uh, you know, give him the notes and not mention anything uh, about the meeting. OK, so you don't know what he told Putin and what Putin and uh, him agreed to. OK, no president has ever done that. You know, so. He's done some things that uh, make you go, mm, okay, he's done that, you know, because uh, we don't know what kind of deals he's making with the Russians, okay? Yeah. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the reason for uh, uh, impeachment right there, just because of the simple fact uh, he has stated and made, uh, he's done things that lead you to believe he's working for him. Like uh, my my coworker there, uh, uh, Angelique says Trump is a spy. Yes, he is. He's a spy. Is. You know uh, now whether he's doing it on purpose or just doing it because he's brainless and doesn't know what's going on. I think he uh, gives the Russians too much credit. Okay, the Russians don't give a crap about Americans. They try they to really become don't. they try to dominate the world. Okay, you know case in point. You know, China buys a lot of uh, soybeans and right. you know uh, uh, chicken and poultry chicken, from them, America. Right. Chicken right. and pork. But now that we buy, they came to. And I'll tell you another story about China in a minute. But so the Russians have struck a deal to sell soybeans and poultry to um, uh, to to China. Okay, so who's that going to hurt? It's going to hurt the American farmer. Okay, now I'll tell you something. China did a couple of years ago. For you pork eaters that eat Smithfield uh, pork products, uh, that is a China-owned company, okay? Mm -hmm. you know, no, because what they did years ago, because they were having a shortage of pork in China, they came over here to America and bought Smithfield uh, uh, pork, okay? Uh, pork and packaging company, okay? So you have those things that are happening, okay? So that's they, both China and um, and Russia to try to become the dominant uh, figures in this world. And because Trump has not laid out his vision for uh, uh, what America's role would be on the world stage, then mm -hmm. 
we're getting left behind and we've been looked at like look at him they don't know what they're doing because you got trump in office okay you know so i mean you the president gets a point about a hundred uh presidential appointees with, into different positions uh when they take mm-hmm. office and with this administration they probably got 90 percent of those positions that have never been filled and at this time probably won't get filled because you know elections are coming up next year yeah. you know so uh it, it's just the whole thing that he doesn't know what he was doing you know that's why you have to somehow you have, you know in order to run for office any office you have to be involved in politics to a certain extent you have to know the inner workings of the government right and but what he's done he's opened the door to um uh other individuals who have dreams of being president like uh uh uh, Kanye West, uh, Zuckerberg, Facebook, who should never even go into the White House because he can't even control his privacy issues with Facebook himself. You know? but he wants to be, he's thinking about running for president. So they think and being in any political office and trying to run government is a tough thing. If you don't have that experience, it is. You, you know, you just can't do it. Well, it's not only, I don't think, experience. I don't think it's just experience. I think Mm -hmm. it is a level of, um, uh, you have to, exactly. You have to have some sort of political intelligence. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, say Mm -hmm. for Trump, then, or Zuckerberg, Mm -hmm. (laughs) or anybody else, if you don't, you're mm-hmm. gonna end up just like this fucking idiot that we have in there right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, there is no know-how. There is no level of understanding of how government works. Right. Because we right. need to figure out: Did he fail his government classes? Mm-hmm. He didn't go to class. He had a uh, impersonator. He went to class <laughs> paid teachers. Ugh, can you imagine somebody else looking like that? Probably the word government, but he. He looks at government as another corporation and you can't run it. You know, he had yeah. all these grand plans to downsize um, different departments when he came in, which he hasn't done because uh, he has been stuck with other things, you know. So he's made a mockery of the American government. And whoever yeah. wins president next time, be it Republican or Democrat, it's going to take him years to put this country back on a uh, respectable level among other countries around this world. How many terms do you think that it actually will take for them to clean this mess up? Oh, I think it'll be 10, 15 years. It's a lot if, of damage if, that's been if done. That, if yeah. that. Yeah. Because a lot a lot has been done. Yeah, 20 at the 20 years at the most. But a lot has been done. Okay. First of all, he's fractured this country, okay? You know, Extreme. and that's why I'm glad that the Republicans have finally got the balls to uh you know, pretty much kicked Stephen King out of Congress because this is something Stephen King has taught this way ever since he's been in Congress. Right, and exactly. Found they got so, the balls. You know, found McConnell done something I can agree with him on. You know, found. But hold on, you're right. He has been. This is this has been his makeup yeah, from the very right. beginning. So yeah. why now? Because, why now? Because of next year's election, and because of some of fact. People are getting fed up with this white supremacist and nationalist uh, rhetoric, okay? But there so have been know, elections they, since King has been uh, rep- he's feel, been a representative in, 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 in Congress. Look at, okay, look at the makeup of Congress now. Look what happened in the blue wave. They scared. They got to speak up. They got to, kind of, got to try to keep some kind of base. You know, so they had they they finally got the balls enough to jump on them. You know, I was pretty much getting tired with him doing the election because he's made these comments over and over and over. So what has happened? Like I was going to say, this country is divided. Okay, so the problem is going to come with whoever becomes president. Okay, after the next election, this country is very divided, and you're going to have some shit breaking out over the years. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's going to, you know, it's going to be like that because <laughs> what Trump did, he opened up a can of worms that a Pandora's box that cannot be closed. Okay. Was racism going away? No, it wasn't. No. It, right. was, it was, you kept it among your, uh, probably for the white Americans, they kept it among family and friends. Okay. Right, right, you right, know? right, right. With Trump coming into uh, office, 
the can of worms got open, okay? And so people now are saying what they want to say, even though they might get beat up for saying what they want to say and using the N word, they are willing to. They're willing to take that 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 chance and, and get a butt beat. Okay, so mm. now you got to work on rebuilding relationships and, and and building bridges again that were being built. I mean, the bridges start actually started falling apart with the election of, uh, of President Obama. With Obama, because, right? Yeah, because they felt like gosh. You've got a black man in office. They, we gonna get one girl had a nerve asking was you know he's gonna reinstitute slavery, okay? Because it scared them. That's the kind of mindset that they have, you know. Uh, so you know the bridges started falling apart then, you know, because a black man was in the White House. And then you get a uh, racist in the White House that uh, they think they can just say anything they want to say. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah. uh, and that that's what's happening. So it's going to be a major cleanup to get get it back. But see, this is the thing we have. We have a group of young people like my daughter in the twenties that see this world in a different prism. Okay, uh -huh. they're going to be the ones that are going to rebuild this bridge and get the country to back to where it needs to go. Okay, you know, and it's going to take a dying out a whole lot of white racists to bring this country back on the footing that it needs to be on. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. Time, you know, like they say, if you wait for them to die, time will get time will get better. Things will get better. You know. And, and that's uh, what uh, yeah, but you know what? It's just like okay, to wait and to take time to think that things are going to get better. We still got to live through this shit. Yeah, oh, well, we have. You yeah, know? we can live. You know, we can leave. You know, um, you know, you talk about border control. Do you see Canada building a wall? And Canada gets more. Uh, they get more more people coming over their borders. Yeah, then what they we do, do. A, lot of, a lot of these people come through across American border. They just keep on going until they get to Canada. Exactly. They don't even stop in America because they know exactly. they're gonna get. They know they're gonna get deported, but they go exactly. they keep on trucking until they get to to Canada. You know, so you know, you see Canada building a wall to keep people from coming across the border between right. the U.S. and right. Canada. Border. You know, you don't, you don't do that. You know, you don't see that. I, it, but you know what? And it just, it, it was crossing my mind as you were saying mm -hmm. all of this. We've got so much going on at one, at once. Yeah. Um, you still have the issue of these children that are being held uh, in these, uh, these it, camps. It yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, still separated from their parents. Mm -hmm. You've got the government shut down. Now you've got people, you know, uh, with the threat of losing their homes and their mm -hmm. livelihood and, and all these different things. Uh, you've got now allegations of um, uh, Trump working for the Russian government. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got now Comey, uh, not call me cone gun, gonna mm -hmm. testify in front of uh the Senate yeah. committee next yeah mm -hmm. next week so we don't know what that's gonna lead to you've got so many different things going on how do we how do we concentrate on one thing at a time to fix one thing at a time mm -hmm. well we can't you know it was for i mean this presidency has been marred by uh accusations okay and he actually bought on himself, you know, because, you know, they thought they could do things and the cat would remain in the bag, but the bag was open, the cat jumped out the bag. Yeah. You know, he calls it a witch hunt. No, I call it your stupidity because you don't know how to operate <laughs> without getting caught, okay? You know, so you can't blame, you have nobody to blame for these investigations other than yourself. Right, right. You know? and so, right. I mean, um, would he get reelected again? No, I, I I wonder sometimes if he can even get the nomination again for the Republican Party, you know. But they'll probably have an all-out fight at the Republican convention if he doesn't get the nomination again, you know. Uh, so I mean, I'm talking to them. Folks will probably be beating each other with fists, you know, because he doesn't get the nomination. That little thirty-seven to forty percent of the people who support him, you know. So uh -huh. uh, he's, I mean, he's really mucked things up. You know, with his cavalier attitude. Okay, you, you know, he he realized he doesn't have a stable government. Look at the number of people who have left his left him in the first two years, and look at the number of people who've been convicted of something in the first two years. You know, a corrupt government and people who just got plain out tired. You know, these people like they say, if you put on your resume that you work for Trump, you would not get a job. 
You won't. <laughs> I'm not a, nobody's gonna have you. Even if they Republican, they ain't gonna have you. No, that, yeah. that would be a huge mistake to do. Yeah, yeah. Huge, yeah. huge. Most definitely, most definitely. We have about uh, 10 minutes left. Mm. And, I, you know, we were working on trying to incorporate a live caller mm-hmm. to the show. So at this time, what I do want to do is I do want to take at least one call uh, because we're at the end of the show. And I want to be able to do that and make that the last word uh, of the caller. Okay, so um, I'm going to open up my phone line. Right. And if you want to call in, you can do so. And the number that you do want to dial to to call in and put your last word in, 702-970-HTTR. That's 702-970-4887. I'm gonna take one call for the end of our show, but while we do that, um, as we start getting closer to winding down, I do wanna mention that we do have a couple of sponsors um, that I do wanna recognize, Miss Stephanie Jenkins of, FES Protection, uh, also Miss Gina Smith of uh, SPMG Media, and uh, that handsome guy right there, Mr. Reggie Kearney, he's also one of our sponsors and a host and the executive uh, of H, I was going to say HGTR, uh, he's the executive producer too of Real World News, he is uh, sponsoring us with uh, Urban Sentinel. So for more information regarding all of our our sponsors, head on over to our website at hottopicstalkradio.com and uh, find out more about our sponsors. Uh, Check out some of the past shows, catch up. And you can also find all of our past shows on YouTube. Go to Hot Topics Talk Radio Network on YouTube and you can find every last one of our shows, okay? Since we have been broadcasting by live camera. All right. So I just want to tell you that. Um, But again, uh, I'll take one call. 702-970-HTTR. So that is the number 4887 of the last fours. Uh, So you can call in. Otherwise, me and Reggie are going to start to close it out and we'll take your call next week. What you think, Reg? Well, you know, maybe we can do a show next week and do a call in show next week and just talk to our listeners. You know, yeah, we can. They can do, you know, so since we want to do more, you know, live calls and everything, mm-hmm. you know, uh, mm-hmm. that might be a great thing to do. Yeah, maybe we should just do it, uh, viewer's choice. Yeah, and hopefully we won't get trolled like we did two years ago. You remember two years ago? Uh, you know, I just don't to think about those times. <laughs> I really don't I want to think about oh, those I times. Could, yeah, I could reach through the computer oh. and grab these people. Oh, I know, I know. So, where do you think that uh, all of this is heading for 2020? Hmm. Well, first of all, uh, Democrats gonna have about 100 people trying to run for president, you know. And I'm thinking yeah. that I'm thinking by the time the second or third primary comes along, most of it you know, it'll level out, you know. Right. If Biden gets there, a lot of these people will drop out. Uh, right. But it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. Right. There's going to be a lot of name calling, a lot of uh, slinging of dirt, okay? Right. And I'm thinking, too, because of what we're going through now, I think if the Democrats can get something done in Congress, I think Democrats will hold on to Congress. And I'm thinking in 2020, uh, the Democrats will probably be able to get the Senate back. Right. Well, I do have a caller, Ms. Uh, yeah. Yvonne Baker. Okay. Miss Yvonne Baker. <laughs> oh you got a I can't. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it on uh, a different unit. Hang on for me for a second. Let me get her back on. Hang on, Yvonne. I see you. She's talking about I'm calling. I'm calling in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now I've got to try and get her back on. Oh, I'm going to kill her. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Uh-huh. All right, Miss Yvonne. 
Miss Yvonne. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Hello. I can hear Hello. you. Hello. Can, Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> You're not supposed to see me, Dodo Bird. <laughs> My Lord. Okay, so we can see how this is going to go. <laughs> so do you have a do you have a last word? Last comment? No, I called to see how it worked. Are you serious? Are you serious? She's our test person, so we're we a last question. Yeah, she's that like, I'm answered. calling I'm calling to see how it works. Mm -hmm. See, she's in test mode. Really? Mm -hmm. And she's live. Give me your last thought. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so this is so weird. No, I asked the question earlier. But nobody answered it. Do these employees get unemployment? No. They yeah, well they can they get it. They cannot get unemployment. That's yeah. messed up. Yeah, but okay, no. so, so how do they get in how do they get in unemployment if they this, are legally employed? Well this is the this is the thing. They can get, they can get basically laid off. Yeah. Go ahead, Reggie. But they can get unemployment but they have to pay it back once they go back to work is that so <laughs> your best done is the best thing is to not even mess with it because yvonne is right they are laid off but they can get the money but they have to pay the money back so it's not even yeah. worth going down there to mess with that okay because i know that i know that they can't they can't get uh they cannot get uh uh food assistance because right. you have to show that you're unemployed yeah. and then you still have to qualify by the level of income. Right. And the right. contractors, the people, the people who work for contractors, they can, there's no problem for them. Okay. But one thing that's happening in the DC area, the food banks, uh, churches, uh, some of the local governments are providing, um, uh, food, where for federal employees, uh, they can go and pick them up by just showing the ID. Uh, Whole Foods tonight in 20 Whole Food locations in the DMV uh, offered spaghetti dinner from 5.30 to 7.30. Uh, you got a couple of restaurants that are giving people a break, a free meal if they bring the, uh, uh, the ID, federal ID in. And then the credit union I bank with will deposit money into your deposit your check into your account every two weeks because that's when the federal government gets paid every two weeks and they will get uh they will retrieve the money when you get your back paid if you're right. a federal employee so there are some things going on to try to alleviate but like i said a lot of people you know that whose banks aren't participating in things of this nature and they're crying they like they said they just don't know what's going to happen and uh, wow. next, next Friday will be another paycheck missed. And it's getting close to the first of the month. Okay. And right now, it just doesn't seem like uh, there's a plan coming up that uh, will help these people out. I mean, it's a shame. Yeah. We live in a country, we live in one of the richest countries in the world, and people are going to lose everything because some guy is at the playground and he's mad because he can't get his way shaking his gonna, rattle yeah he's yeah. shaking his rattle because he can't get five billion dollars okay i mean I'm come on man God. okay yvonne thanks for calling in um that was yvonne baker thinking she was in test mode so <laughs> Yo. <laughs> all right all right well we love you thank you love you too okay bye yeah, so, all right it, it, it's scary it's really scary it's really nerve-wracking okay yeah yeah it is it, it is completely scary i i really 
I, I can't disagree mm -hmm. yeah. at all. Because like I said, every day we turn on the news, mm -hmm. uh, there's always going to be another e example as mm -hmm. to what this shutdown is doing to people and their families. So, yeah. But I do encourage people who, uh, if you do know someone that mm -hmm. is a federal employee and you know that they are going through hard times, please offer up some assistance mm -hmm. to them. Okay, yeah. uh, please do, because it doesn't take much to buy an extra loaf of bread, uh, extra gallon of milk. You know, mm -hmm. you've got children there, then you, you need to be able to help your neighbor, because obviously the people that we have depended on for, for, for centuries now, when we talk about the government, they're not there. That's they're right. not there. Yeah. So. And, and, you know, I was thinking that I wish I could start a GoFund account and raise a million dollars just to be the have to people to it and uh, get money for electric bills, things of that nature, medicine and stuff, you know. And, you know, this is a chance. I'm going to tell you what, this is a chance for the the church, the black church and the black community to step up to the plate and help out, okay? I Every agree. Sunday, folks are dropping money in them, pay, them, them those, uh, those those church paying, offering, offering paying, and tithing and doing stuff to help the church out you ain't giving a dime dime back to the community the black church and this is the time for you to step up and open your doors up regardless of the person is a, is a, a member or not and help with little yeah. small things like medicine electric bills and things of that nature okay yeah yeah you know it's I time agree. for the black church to, to step up you know i agree you know, i totally agree and the rose Rosses and stuff give some that money up and help, and help the people out in your community Oh, I tell you, I tell you. Well, I'm just going to say that we need to stay tuned. Uh, keep your eyes on the news because uh, things are going to, uh, I think, come to a, a huge light. Mm -hmm. of, and I think it's all going to happen uh, starting with uh, Michael Cohn. Mm -hmm. When he goes in front of the yeah uh, the the uh, in the, the House committee, when mm -hmm. he goes in front of them, uh, I think that this is going to be a time where now that even though the FBI is is uh, opening up uh, a way of investigating uh, through the information that they have gained through counterintelligence mm -hmm. of investigating Trump's uh, involvement with Russia. I think that it is going to get even steeper because a lot of these things that are being brought to light are now going into the hand of state courts, yep. uh, the individual states. So whether we impeach him or not, his ass is going to jail. <laughs> you know, he's going to jail eventually. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think we should we should be keeping our eye on. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else for you, Mr. Kearney? No, just pray for the furlough people, the contractors, and everybody who's affected by this furlough. They need all the prayers they can get. And like Tony said, if you see one that needs a bread, some loaf of bread, help them out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people are hurting right now. You got that right. Yeah. So that's what this is how you get to know your neighbors. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knowing that they're suffering and knowing, okay, what does he do or what does she do? Find yeah. out what your neighbor does. See if you can be of help of some, to somebody. Yeah. All right. So before we get out of here, because we are over time, uh, before we get out of here, I do want to invite everybody. Well, first, let me say thank you for joining us, uh, me and Reggie, or uh, Reggie and I, uh, on Real World News TV tonight. Chair Ann Tappen was out, so I've been sitting in for her tonight. Um, but thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you follow Real World News TV on Facebook under Real World News TV. You can also visit our website at hottopicstalkradio.com. Check out some of the past shows, even send us show ideas. You can actually message the individual host, okay? When you're finding out more about us on our individual pages on the website, send us a message. Tell us how you think we're doing. Tell us what uh, you want to talk about because we want to hear from the people. Okay, so we look forward to getting your messages. Also, send us a message on Facebook. We take that too. Um, but you can make sure to catch Real World News TV here every Tuesday night at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 7.30 p.m. Central, and 8.30 on the East Coast. 
This show is hosted by Reggie Kearney, that handsome guy right there. And we're hosted by Reggie Kearney and also Miss Jerry Ann Tappen. But again, I am sitting in tonight. I do want you to come back uh, and join us on Hot Topics Talk Radio tomorrow night with me, Yvonne Baker, and Mr. Chris Smith. Tomorrow night, okay. So, Reggie, what we're talking about tomorrow night? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Is uh, being a sexual pacifier. <laughs> I know you'd have to really join the show and 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 watch the show tomorrow night to get a real kick as to what this is all about. But uh, tomorrow night, Hot Topic Shark Radio, me, Yvonne, and Chris, we're going to be on at eight o'clock PM Pacific. 10 o'clock Central and 11 o'clock on the East Coast. So make sure that you come on back to Hot Topics Talk Radio with me, Yvonne, and Chris, all right? And we'll be right here to have such a good time with you. Again, thank you for tuning in tonight on Real World News TV. And it has been a pleasure to come back once again with you, Mr. Reggie Kearney. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> All right. So good night, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.